Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin. Let's get into the price action and see what's going on. Okay, so we've had a bit of a sell off to the downside here, and now we are looking at what this actually is. Now we were talking about this previously, and I hope that everyone was prepared for the idea of actually having this move to the downside because we discussed this in the previous video where we we're actually looking for that possibility of an x wave here looking for that potential to see a three wave move to the downside in a z wave now there is a more bearish alternative for the, to this as well but we were expecting that if we failed to actually develop that additional fifth wave to the upside that we were going to see this actually look to break down so let us know down below if you manage to take advantage of that fact okay so I'm still looking at it in this way and basically within this we're looking at this as a W, X, Y, X and a Z as a potential corrective move. Now this ties into our bigger structure which we're looking for here as potentially a wave 1 and a 2 looking for this bigger wave 3 which is actually looking to push us up towards 51,778. So technically speaking this could actually be a corrective move completed. We have come down between this 382 and this 50% which is quite common for a more complex correction here. Now the thing is that we need to see price action start to move to the upside for more confirmation of this because we have a secondary count here where we were also talking about the possibility that we could actually have a completed move into this high, in which case we're looking for a bigger retracement, in which case we're looking for a move that could potentially bring us down lower here towards this 21,830 to this 18,109 zone. So what we need to be cautious of is that this whole move to the downside could just be part of an A wave. We get a bigger B wave up and we still see a C wave to the downside. So we need to just be aware of that fact that there is still potential for this to fall off from this point the, and the other bearish um, potential we we're talking about was this is an abc in which case what we could actually see is you know a bigger sell off to the downside so we need to just be careful until we actually start to take some of these swing highs that we have here um, we need to just be aware of the possibility of that extension to the downside so we will go over that within the video so make sure that you stay tuned for it the first one i'm going to talk about this is a that wxyxz if this is the case and we're looking at this as a x wave completed we could actually potentially have completed the Z wave which could look to be here towards this zone where we've actually come down into this 25,211. Now if we have completed here what we could see is see price action move to the upside in a bigger way. Now one thing I am being mindful of is that if we see a three wave move to the upside back up into this 29,676 to this 27,994 this could be a corrective move so if we just see this in three waves to the upside here this could actually indicate we still have another leg to the downside so it's going to be important how we look to push up here as well as that we do have the potential that this could actually just be a w and x and a y so we're going to go over that next but what i would be anticipating here if we come back a bit closer on this what I'm looking for in this potential is that we are looking at this as an A, a B, and a C. Now, this could look to actually complete already, and we could be looking to push to the upside. We have achieved this area of this one-to-one, -one, which would be at this 25,595. So now what I want to see for confirmation, if we're looking at this as a completed move, is we need to break back above this B wave high here of this 27,455. Until we actually do, we need to just be cautious. We could still see further extension to the downside where we actually have this as a one two and another one two here and we actually look to push down in a bigger way so we need to be cautious of that we were talking about this in the previous video looking at that possibility that within the count what we could actually have is something along these lines where we were looking for this breakdown we were saying you know this could be a wave one this could be a wave two and then we could be looking for either a c wave towards this 25 540 or third wave towards the zone of this 24 340 region so what i'm looking out for here is if we do actually reject and continue to break down and price moves towards this 24,300. 40. this would actually indicate that we have a bigger five wave move here from here where this is one two three four and five which would actually mean that we're going to potentially see a move down towards this twenty four thousand and sixty eight to this twenty three thousand six hundred and twenty nine as a possible target area if we continue to reject 
So this is looking for this as a direct break to the downside. So that's without having any kind of a major retracement to the upside here. Another way that we could be actually looking to the, for this to form out would actually be a bigger five wave move like this. Now this would actually tie into the more bearish situation from further back here where we could have this as a bigger impulse to the downside where we're treating this as a one and a two. Now we were talking about this once again in the previous video that because of the fact that we've only got a three wave move up here, if we see a bigger impulse to the downside that actually looks to push us down towards this zone here of this 22,346 we could actually see a bigger impulse playing out here from further back where we'd have to then count this as potentially another one two so this would be one two one two three four five and then even once we push down towards the zone of this 21,290 to this 20,431 this would mean that we would still have an additional fourth and a fifth to go. So we need to be careful of this if we do see price continue to break down here. So we need to just be aware that that count is actually still valid until we actually look to cross this high here of this 29,854. Even if we did see a bigger push to the upside, it technically would be, still be possible, but the idea then would be that the wave three would have, I mean, this wave one and this wave two would be very disproportionate. So I wouldn't like really like it in that, uh, in that way if we do. So within this count, what we are looking for is for as long as we actually remain below this 27,455, we could actually still look for continuation to the downside. Now, a typical zone I would be looking here for would be this 20. 26,993 to this 26,388. One area of interest would actually be this center channel line, which would actually be looking to actually retest this zone of this previous wick we had here at this 26,511. If we see a three wave move to the upside here, this could actually set us up for this additional downside where we have this as a one, two, we get a bigger third, fourth, and a fifth. Now, if we did have to push up to this 618, which would be here at this 26,704, what we'd be looking for is this third wave to potentially come down towards this 23. 404. It is always possible that this could just be a corrective structure, which we're going to go over in a second, but we need to just be aware of this much more bearish scenario where we actually see price reject much harder and push down much deeper, looking to actually complete a bigger five wave structure to the downside. So this is something we want to avoid really if we're looking for that bullish continuation. Um, if we see something like this, it wouldn't really fit. Now, the other way that we discussed this move was talking about the possibility that this could actually be a W, X, and a Y, and that we're still within an X wave. So the target box for this still remains the same. Now, at the moment, all that we have here is a three wave move up, a three wave move down, and then we could actually see a five wave move to the upside as a flat correction. So this is why I'm just being mindful that we could still see price action push up towards the zone of this 29.780 to this 29. 270 area now the way that i'd want to see that actually play out so if we are looking at this as a flat basically what we have here is three waves up three waves down and we need to be cautious that if we start to see a five wave move to the upside this could actually be mean that we are within a flat correction so this is our target bear area as a irregular flat so i have two zones that i'm looking out for so this lower zone would be if we are looking at a running flat. Now this would be looking for a five wave move that actually fails to take this A wave high. And what we'd be looking for here is a potential move into this 27,939 for a one to one of this A wave. Alternatively, if we look to have a, a truncation, we could technically look to complete towards this 26,921. Now it's not very common that we get these running flats towards a 0.618, but it is possible. Alternatively, the much more common area that we look for is this higher red box which would be this 29,969 to this 28,588 as a expanding flat now we need to be careful so if we get a five wave move to the upside here confirmation that this is a flat will come by crossing back below this origin point because of that bullish count we need to be careful that if we do get a five wave move to the upside here this could actually just be a wave one, in which case we would get a three wave move down, find support above this low, and then actually look for price to continue to the upside. So that's what we need to be aware of is that if we do see a five wave move, it's going to be crucial what happens next for us to actually tell which, uh, which count we are within here. So we need to be careful because we're still looking for that possibility of a flat. And now if I over, overlay this, we can see that this zero this 1.618 would actually look to bring us back up here into the 786. We should be here towards this 29,780, which would also be looking to 
bring us back up into some of these tops now we do also have a target area that's sitting within this zone right here in this golden pocket between this 29,052 to this 28,884 so because of the fact that we have that there we need to just be aware that if we do see this as a five wave move to the upside that moves into this zone and potentially targets out this uh, 1382 at this 28,996 this could actually look to bring us into this target box here and now within this target box what I'm looking out for is we do have a few things within here we obviously we have this golden pocket that we've got over here from this move to the downside as well as that as we do have a 0 0.786 of this smaller structure here to the downside so I would be keeping an eye on this zone between the zone of this 29,142 to this 28,911 as a possible rejection point. But as well as that, we do obviously have that possibility of coming up and swing failing these highs if we're looking at this as an X wave. So need to keep an eye on this five wave move to the upside. We're going to have to watch that retracement. If it's in three waves, we can look for continuation. If we get a five wave move to the upside and then a five wave move to the downside, this would actually mean that we're going to actually see that breakdown happen earlier now it is also possible what we could say here is that within within this structure as a wxy what we could say is that this x wave is actually here so even though it is smaller than this w wave sometimes we can get a smaller x wave now the key difference with this would actually be that we are looking for this this uh y wave to come down directly and what we'd be looking for to target then would actually be this 23719 now this would be looking for this to actually come down in a three wave move if this is the case so we need to just be aware that if we do see this as a w and x and a y what we're going to be looking for is this as an a b and a c so that would look something along these lines where we'd be looking for this potentially in this way we'd be arguing this is a b c for a we'd be looking for a three wave move back to the upside for this b wave and then this continuation to the downside for this c wave now this would actually look to bring us down into this target box area here of this 24,821 to this 24,688 and within this area we've got a daily and a weekly naked point of control so it would be interesting to see how we react around these levels obviously if we also come back out here what we can see is that coming back down into this lower zone here would actually be looking to retest some of these highs so i would be keeping an eye on that if we do see this push to the downside directly in this a b and a c Okay, so looking above us, we do have this little target box as well, which has uh, two daily naked points of control, and we have this monthly naked point of control, which is still sitting here towards us, 27,148. So if we had to see that potential to move back to the upside, I would be interested to see how we react around these levels. If we do look to just push up, we could actually look to reject off of these. Now, once again, like we were talking about that possibility of this as a 1-2, this could actually look to come back and test this naked point of control over here which is sitting towards this 702 here which is sitting at this 26,814 alternatively if we do look to push up higher these could still fall within this and possibly look to actually come back up here and look to test this higher range here of this uh, 854 which would be here towards this 27,100 39 so i'd be keeping an eye on these on this target box if we are looking at just a corrective structure up here potentially we could see a reaction off of these looking at the weekly cpr lines we can see that we've actually reacted off of these central lines here and we've actually broken to the downside now we have actually come down to this r2 line already if we do continue to hold support here this could mean price actually starts to move back to the upside here and starts to make it its way back towards these central pivot lines which are sitting towards the zone of this 27,488 to this 27,230 now this would tie in with that idea of this as a retracement to the upside or alternatively as that possibility where we're going to start looking for that impulse to the upside here now if we do look for the impulse we manage to maintain this low which is currently sitting here towards this 25,351 what i would be looking for is the potential that price could actually be gravitated towards these s1 lines which would be actually bring us back into the top of this channel which would be here at this 28,209 this 29,282 and this 
30,139 area as possible targets. Now, this could tie into that idea of that X wave still playing out. So, I'm keeping an eye on that. Now, if we also have a look at this and we change this onto the monthly pivots, what we can see here is that we actually came down to this R1 line already. If price continues to move down, I would be interested to see if we get a reaction towards this 23,600 at this r2 line and then we have this r3 line sitting here towards this 21407 so if we see a bigger move to the downside here towards this 24 21407 that would obviously that would confirm the idea of that bigger impulse that we have here to the downside alternatively if we do see price start to move back to the upside here and we can regain these central pivots which are sitting towards this 27834 to this 27,380 what we could then see is price potentially move up to this s1 line which would be here at this 29,363 the s2 line at this 21,598 and this s3 line which is sitting up here towards this 33,400 level now if we do see a push up towards these we need to be cautious because this could actually then be looking for that bigger impulse to the upside here which we would be looking for that possibility then of this either being a wave one and then we look for a retracement for a two or alternatively we could also argue that this is potentially a fourth and a fifth so we'll have to keep an eye on it if we see it actually develop to the upside but primarily the way i'm looking at it is that one two one two but we'll have to see whether the price action obviously follows through once again we need to keep an eye on these central lines if we do see price get gravitated back up here and we face rejection that also ties into that idea of this is a a this is a b and a c wave to the downside so need to keep an eye on it if we do look to move up towards these lines and face rejection we could still have that possibility of a move back up into this trend line retesting these central lines and then actually looking for price to fall away again and possibly come down to towards this 24,218 or possibly even down towards these lower ranges of this uh, 23,591 if we're looking at these cpr lines Looking at the Ichimoku cloud, we have gained control of the conversion line again here, but we do have the baseline up above us as a potential resistance point. The cloud is very thin at the moment, so potentially we could see price move through this quite easily. I would be looking out for, depending on how long it takes to actually move up here, um, these areas to offer us potential resistance and support. So this area up here, which would be this... 26,980 if we had to move up into this I'd be looking at that potential of a rejection alternatively if we see a more sideways move and we're looking to move into this uh, we do have that potential to reject it doesn't mean that we have to price can move through this quite easily and then look to find support and continue to the upside now looking at the four hourly we can see that the cloud is just turned here and it's starting to become a little bit bigger once again it is very thin so price action can move through this quite easily so i would be keeping an eye on it if we do see a move higher up here into these rejection areas that we're looking for now if we come here onto the eight hourly what we can see is the cloud is quite it's quite built up above us this is why i'm saying you know if we see a move back into this channel what we could actually see is more confluence that we have a potential rejection area here if we do fail to actually break above it now we do have the lower end of this cloud towards this 27,143 which actually tie into coming back into this golden pocket so keep an eye on that if we see a, only a three wave move to the upside here it could actually mean that we have still got continuation to the downside Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video. Leave us some feedback down below. And also in the description, you'll find a link to the Discord. Come check it out. It is free to join. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.